friends, I'm Shelby Criswell, a comic book maker, illustrator, and designer out of San Antonio, Texas. I'm also the writer and the artist on Queer Is All Get Out, 10 People Who've Inspired Me, a graphic novel coming out from Street Noise Books, and I'm stoked to be here today to talk to you about my five things I wish someone would have told me when I first started doing this kind of stuff. First thing is making time for yourself. You know, everybody has to work, unfortunately, but, you know, we're also not just content creating or work creating machines. We deserve time to rest and to play, to do things we like. Like, I like sketching. I like drawing for myself. You know, doing work for others is, is fulfilling for me, but I also love to do the things that I love to do, like going on a bike ride or hanging out with people I love. You know, we all deserve to make time for those things. So put, put work away when you can and, and go have some fun. Staying organized early on in your career, no matter what you're gonna what you're gonna do, is so important. Whenever I go back and find old files in my hard drive for freelance client stuff, I have no idea what it is named half the time. I always named it something absolutely stupid that didn't have anything to do with the client. And so finding a format of organization that you think will withstand the test of time and you'll remember how you did it is so vital because you know, you're gonna have to go back to old files eventually. I honestly wish somebody would have told me to buck up and just learn how to talk on the phone. I used to be so bad at talking on the phone, even to my own grandmother. It was embarrassing. And you know, now that I know how to talk on the phone, I know how to, how to use Zoom. I mean, I've learned just to become a better converser, not only online through a screen, which is obviously kind of weird sometimes, but also in person. And, you know, eventually, no matter what kind of work you're going to do, you're going to have to meet clients, you're going to have to meet people, you're going to have to talk on Zoom, who, who knows how long that'll last, you'll have to talk on the phone, you got to go to meetings, you know, that's just how business works. And, you know, I wish I could sit in my, my art hole and just make art all day, but that's not how the world works. And so getting over that fear is, has been one of the best things I have done, and I wish I would have done it a lot sooner. Taking care of your body is super important for whatever you're going to do, especially as an artist. You know, you got to learn to stretch your back, stretch your wrists, stand up sometimes, you know, which is something I didn't allow myself to do for a long time. I would just slouch over the table for hours on end and you know, sometimes drink too much alcohol, not get enough sleep, sometimes not even go to bed without even brushing my teeth. You know, I mean, sometimes self-care stuff is sounds like a bunch of mumbo jumbo, and it is sometimes, but, you know, providing yourself with just basic care, basic things that you know your body needs is so important, and it will make you a better um, worker, it'll make you a better friend, make you a better uh, spouse. I mean, it really goes into every part of your life, and it, and it has made me given me such better sleep, it's given me better work schedule, it's given me more time for myself. It is so important to take care of your body. And lastly, learning to diversify your skills is such an important tool to have in your work kit. Um, you know, for a long time I put myself into a box and put all my eggs in one basket and said, you know, I'm only an illustrator, I only do this thing. But, you know, now I consider myself a graphic designer, a cartoonist, you know, all these other things. And I've learned all these pr new programs to help diversify my work, which not only means that my, my comic stuff will be a lot easier because I'll know how to plug them into InDesign and I'll know how to put in some stuff in Illustrator, whatever. Uh, you know, it also means that I can get more jobs and that means I can ask for more money because I know how to do more things. <laughs> 